flopped. Well, I failed. I went too wide, too fast. Check, check, check. Are we on? Are we on? I think we're on. All right, let's get some clay. Boom! What is up? Guys, welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in my studio. Tonight, on this fine evening, 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 we've been throwing some pots for a while. We threw, we're throwing some chip and dip bowls, some pitchers, some bowls, and I just like got my lights set up. I was taking some picks, and now I think we're gonna throw some big bowls. So I'm gonna cut this up maybe like three different pieces. So, shoo. this is a nice buff stoneware from Continental Clay. We got the Art Wander coming up. Oh. So stay tuned to the end of this video to find out who won the giveaway from a couple when we threw 100 pots. Was that when we threw 100 pots? All right, you guys ready? Ready to throw some big bowls? It's really important to wedge big pieces of clay. Because if you just, like sometimes you can get away with um, not wedging mugs and cups and stuff when you throw it right out of the bag. But when you are doing bigger stuff, you gotta get the clay moving. So this piece of clay, is 10 pounds up. These bats are from Continental Clay. I get a lot of questions about these bats. And we're just gonna do this thing. 10 pound bowl, you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Let's do it. Got it nice and well wedged, got it into our ball. And then we have our bat, which we got wet, but we don't want it too wet. So that we, if it's too wet, if you like have sitting water on here, then the clay will just slide around on there. So we want it moist, but not super wet. Boom! All right, I throw that down as close to the middle as I can. Get my hands nice and wet so they just slide right along there. But it's plenty wet right now. All right, so to center, you get the wheel going as fast, as fast as it'll go. And sometimes with bigger pieces of clay, you kind of have to center it in sections. So I'm kind of focusing on centering at the base. So I start centering at the base and then I move my hands up so that we center the whole thing. Don't go too much or else it'll fly around on you. So that's probably good. Often if I have any clay around here, like this, I probably shouldn't let this happen, but I'll just kinda. And it does, like big pieces like this do just take longer to center. But you gotta make sure it's centered or else the rest of this process is gonna be very difficult. So I can see that's very, very close to the center. Now when we go in the top, I create, with big pieces like this, I'm gonna create the center with my fist. And I can kind of use my fingers in there to help it, but my fist just, that's 10 pounds is a lot of clay to move around. So I use both hands, I use my fist. I'm just applying pressure from the top and from my fingers as well. And then when I get down to what I think might be the bottom, I'll start to pull out a little bit, which I can still tell there's a lot of clay in there. I want to get a needle. So now I'm going to test how thick the bottom is and I can tell it's an inch thick, so that is too thick. So we're gonna go down a little bit more, down in the center, pull out to the edges, then I'll test it again. Still probably three quarters of an inch. Push down, pull out. I'm gonna use these mud tool sponges I love for throwing, but they're not the best for sopping up water, so I like to have a bigger sponge around for that too. Once again, I'm gonna test how thick the base is, which that's probably about a half an inch, which I can go a little bit more low, a little bit lower than that, but we're getting to the point where it's pretty good. I still wanna be able to trim some out of the base. I think we're good there. Now we're gonna start just pulling up the sides. So this, instead of like pinching with my fingers like normal, I am almost 
like using the edges of my fingers to pull up like just a little bit more evenly. So I'm applying pressure with more of my finger. Like normally on a mug that's tiny, I'm gonna just like apply pressure with like this. But now I'm applying pressure with like this much and this much. That just helps me. And a lot of people in this, you know, when you throw bigger stuff would use like the edge of your finger to like pull in and then like kind of do that. So similar concept, you're just using more surface area to help pull up larger pieces. And then once again, you just wanna be pulling up at the same speed as your wheel. Feel that it's just getting a little bit wider than I would like it to. Flopped. Well, I failed. I went too wide, too fast. I failed. All right, you know what you do when you fail? You get another piece of clay and you try it again. All right, this piece of clay, I can tell is not quite as big as that other one. It's about seven pounds. Boom! All right, here we go. Take two. I'm not perfect. Instead of a how to throw a big bowl, we're talking about the importance of failing. So I think, you know, the last time I learned that I just went too far out. And you know what? I don't throw that many 10 pound pieces, so I like to think I'm a really good potter, but. In reality, I'm just a really good mug maker. So that was a good learning for me. So instead, what I did wrong was I immediately started going out. So it just kept getting out, 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 and then there was too much weight on the edges, and then it just like, the inside weight was too thin and it couldn't support the outside edge. So I think that the way that we're going to combat that is first we wanna create that nice cylinder, right? Like instead of letting it go out, I wanna get the cylinder straight up because then we can manipulate the form and the clay has like something to be supported by. So the top lip, especially with big pieces, because if the top lip is really, really heavy and it gets too far out, then gravity is just gonna pull it down. So it needs to have something under it that's supporting it. So once you get that basic form, then you can start to think about what shape you want for your bowl. Well, actually you should probably be thinking about what shape you want for your bowl before we even start. But that's not really how I roll. I tend to just like say, I'm gonna throw a big bowl and then throw it and then start to be like, okay, now how do I wanna shape it? If you wanna do it the absolute right way, then you should probably sketch it out first into a sketchbook and be like, and then plan it out. Like, I'm gonna do this and this and then this, but no. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. There's no rules in ceramics, except for the ones that the clay will tell you. Okay, so I, I can tell I'm definitely thin enough down at the bottom. And as we go up, we are pretty consistent thickness all the way up. So that's good. So I'm gonna take the rib and just kind of make a little more bullish. Bullish, is that a word? Bullish form. Not too much though, cause I don't really wanna like fail again. That would be embarrassing if I failed twice in the same video. So I'm gonna play it decently conservative on this, on this uh, pot here. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. This was gonna be a how to throw a big bowl, but it turned into a how to get better. 
And so that's what I challenge you guys today. I challenge you guys to push yourself. If you've only thrown two pounds of clay ever, try throwing three pounds, try throwing four pounds, try throwing 10 pounds. It's amazing how much you can grow quickly if you're willing to push yourself, if you're willing to fail, like it's not that big a deal. Like we threw that 10 pounds of clay, we'll wedge it up and use the clay. We're not, we're not wasting any clay here. So this was a, a good lesson for me. I need to push myself more too. I tend to stick to lots of mugs, lots of little bowls, lots of uh, little stuff, planters, because I know it's gonna sell. Uh, but the real way to get better is to push yourself, it's to throw thinner, throw higher, throw wider, and throw bigger or throw more, you know? If you've only have thrown 10 pots at a time, try throwing 15. If you've thrown 20 at a time, try throwing 40. So that's really the ways that you can grow as a potter, as a ceramics person. Throwing higher, wider, more, higher quantity. Is there any other thing that you can get better on the wheel? Probably. Comment below, let me know. All right, the winner of the giveaway from before is right here. They're listed right here. So thanks to everyone who entered the giveaway. <coughs> Excuse me. We had like over a thousand comments. Crazy. So, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. And we'll see you guys in the next video.